OTG 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 Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect a USB type C flash drive to your Nexus 5X, HCC 10, Nexus 6P, LG G5, and OnePlus 2, or any phones that support USB type C. All right, the first thing you will need is a USB type C OTG cable. Now this one I bought on Amazon for $6.99. It's called the IXCC. Uh, this is the top rated if you search for OTG USB type C. I highly recommend this cable. I've been using it for all of my phones. All right, first I'm gonna show you how to connect a USB flash drive to various different phones. Now LG is actually one of the best that support it out of the box. Um, you can actually use the file manager. Just go ahead and plug in your USB OTG. Give it a second here. And you can go ahead and access the USB flash drive, all right? You can go ahead and easily delete files, copy files, all that good stuff. Full access to your USB flash drive. All right, now, if you have other phones um, like the Nexus 5X, uh, OnePlus 2, or any of these phones, uh, what you will have to do is go ahead and download ES File Explorer. Um, that's all you need. It's a free app you can get. Go ahead and download ES File Explorer app, all right? Go ahead and download that, connect your USB OTG cable with flash drive, open, um, just go hit the menu button, go to local, all right, go to local, and you will see USB. All right, same thing here, and you'll have uh, full access to all your files. For example, if you want to delete this folder, right, you can hit the delete button, right, you can do full operation. All right, that's all you really need. Um, that's for the 5X. Let me show you quickly with the HTC 10 also. Um, just go ahead and install ES File Explorer. All right, same thing. Go to USB, USB storage. Boom. All right, let me go ahead and show you with the 6P. I'm actually running Android M, by the way, but it doesn't matter. It's all compatible. Uh, ES File Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And USB right there. Right. Also, one plus two, real quick. One plus two. I believe it already has a file manager. Let's see. Ah. Let's see if it works without installing ES File Explorer. Allow. Okay. So not really. So as soon as I install ES File Explorer, it will work. Also, you do not need root. Um, you just need to download the ES File Explorer. It works on the one plus two. So that is really cool. You do want to get this straight USB Type C to OTG because if you use a converter, like you can use the USB type B cable and use a converter, but that will slow down your file transfer speed. So I don't recommend it. Just get one of these cables. It also works with Torp recovery. Now let me show you one thing really cool you can do with it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and connect my wireless uh, Microsoft mouse and keyboard. I love this thing, by the way. I'll have a link to it if you guys wanna check this out. Let's say you're gonna be blogging. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the wireless Bluetooth to my USB type C OTG cable. So you can see the mouse works, uh, my keyboard works. Let's say I'm going to write a blog post and this is great. You can go ahead and use your mouse, um, you know, make it complete. I am writing a blog post. All right, somehow it switched to Korean. That's one thing I gotta figure out. Uh, you get the idea, you can basically type uh, here, I'm writing in Korean now, sorry. My name is uh, Max. So that's what I wrote. All right, so that's really cool that you can connect all your USB peripherals uh, by using a USB Type-C OTG cable. Now, if you're an expert, 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 expert with blonde hair, expert blondie, expert blonde hair expert blondie all right if you're a high on android expert all right i'm gonna show you what you can do you can get one of these samsung portable ssd this is a samsung t1 they also got the t3 i'll have a link on this too uh, basically solid state drive 500 gigabytes up to two terabytes or five terabytes whatever now make sure you format this in ntfs all the android smartphones support ntfs now phones like lg g5 support xfat but i found out all these other phones they don't support xfat which means you can't connect it using es file explorer all right but i will show you here Let's just let's just grab HCC 10 here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my USB OTG. 
and check this out. If you want to add 500 gigabytes or two terabytes of high speed SSD, connect it there and that's pretty much it. USB, all right? And there's my Samsung T1, all right? The speeds are super fast. Let's go ahead and copy one of these custom ROMs. This is the maximum overdrive or something. So we'll do a copy too and we'll copy into our internal storage and you should get about 30 megabytes per second. Ew. All right, the speeds depend on the phone you're using. This one's kind of slow. Basically, you can connect an SSD drive up to your phone without external power. Let's actually go ahead and try it on my LG G5. I think it's a lot faster. Maybe HTC 10 sucks. All right, so let's go ahead and copy over one of these bigger files. All right, one of these ROM files or whatever. Copy to, download, okay. And this piece, oh, there you go. So now we know that USB Type-C is actually faster on the LG G5. I don't know why, don't ask me why. Some of the phones are faster than the others. And LG G5 is faster than all the others for some reason. Let's go ahead and try it on the Nexus 6P. Samsung T1 on my Nexus 6P. We're gonna go ahead and copy over a Lexus ROM. It's a custom ROM, by the way. It's for Galaxy S6, very good ROM. I'll do a quick overview soon. All right, copy into the internal storage speeds. Yeah, for some reason, uh, the LG UI or something makes it faster. It could be the way it mounts the file system, but I just find the LG G5 a lot faster. Hey, anyway, OTG, 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 OTG. Now you know how to connect it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. I'll have another video about OTG pretty soon. Um, something to do with Android N and OTG. On my next video, watch out for that. That's really kind of cool. Uh, have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android. Over the goose, over the gay, over the, over the gut, over the guy. On the go. That's right. OTG stands for on the go.